Claire Hillerin. And we're two local St. Louis dance artists. Thank you for joining us for this streamathon event supporting many, many St. Louis artists. Today we're going to have a few talking points and then we're going to show you sort of a culmination of one of our projects we've been working on through these shelter in place orders and the COVID experience. So Claire, mm -hmm. how has COVID and these <clears throat> shelter in place orders changed the way you approach your dance, aerial, and teaching work? It has made me rethink how I share and develop that work using a video camera and Zoom to teach classes changes the way you see your own dancing. You get this immediate feedback because you can rewatch your combination right away and make sure you did it correctly for your students. You get to see how it looks to an outside eye from a very different perspective than I'm used to being or seeing when I'm in this dance studio and watching live dance like on a, in a theater. So, it has definitely changed what I think is interesting and I think it has really actually helped develop my artwork as a dancer. How about you, Jeff? Like you mentioned, mm -hmm. seeing live dance and performing live in a studio with people around you really changes when it's a 2D frame and people are right in front of you. Everybody's right in front of you. They're one perspective as opposed to the group's perspective or the individual dancers in the room. So moving from there to this format has really changed what I find compelling and what I like to develop myself. And one of my favorite parts is I've been wanting to push myself into this format because it's easy to distribute, easy to share, mm. and a lot yeah. more accessible. Yeah. And here we are. Has your content creation evolved in any new mediums of art forms since the virus has arrived? And were any of them virus inspired? The whole time. You know what I mean? Like in the custom? Absolutely. So what you'll see today, this Lazaretto video we're going to show you, definitely captures the experience I've had in quarantine. Originally, it was a one shot. I put a camera on top of a fan and improvised and moved with the fan. It was the first time I found my own work compelling on video because I got rid of this idea that it had to be live on a stage. Instead, I used that frame to bring the audience into this space that I've had to share. Mm -hmm. and that I've had yeah. to stay in this entire time and I created it to sort of because I felt trapped and sometimes these days melt into one another. Three months passed like that, all in one space. Absolutely, and you forced the viewer to see a specific viewpoint and only that one, basically. Um, and then we were able to team up with a number of artists because St. Louis is really awesome. So Deanna Barrios with Leverage Dance Theater contacted her cousin, Daniel, Daniel Castro, with Sky Pie Studios, who then contacted a St. Louis production company, Align Media, and all of them found just solo under the fan, and then I also had done one as well. But they really, really enjoyed the way he was using the space and the fan to create this almost um, anti-gravity like feeling and the monotony of it all like we were mentioning with the fan so they all felt super inspired and wanted to help us create a very well produced video so we're gonna share that with you today and we hope you enjoy lazaretto lazaretto 